along in this lecture we will find the values of x and y in the white shape we know that the area of this white shape is 240 units squared we also know that the width of this white shape is 15 units and the length of this white shape is 20 units and we want to find out the value of x and y okay uh, first of all we will make from this white shape a rectangle okay actually we will lengthen the size of the line segment X until it will be in size of 20 units okay so we lengthen the size of line segment X to the size of 20 units and then uh, we will raise a perpendicular in size of 15 units this perpendicular that is 15 units is actually per, per, is perpendicular to the length of the le uh, rectangle and is actually parallel to uh, the other size the other side that is 15 units so in the next step we will name the vertex of this rectangle at this point uh, point A the other vertex of this rectangle will be defined as point B the, this vertex of the rectangle will be defined as C and uh, this vertex of the rectangle will be defined as D and also this point will be defined as F ok so actually we built a rectangle from the shape that we have as you already know all the angles in a rectangle equals to 90 degrees so angle FBD will be equal to 90 degrees and uh, as you already know the area of any rectangle equals to the length of the rectangle times the width ok so I'll write it down the area of a rectangle equals to the length of the rectangle times the width of the rectangle Okay, this is a simple formula for the area of a rectangle. It equals to the length of the rectangle times the width of the rectangle. Okay, so actually the area of the rectangle that we built from the shape, so from the white shape, will be equal the area of rectangle. 
A, B, C, D will be equal to the length of the rectangle, that is 20 units, times the width of the rectangle, that is 15 units. 20 times 15 is 300, so the area of the rectangle will be equal to 300 uh, units squared. So the area of the rectangle equals to 300 units squared because it is the length of the rectangle times the width of the rectangle that is 20 times 15 is 300 units squared. So actually the area of the rectangle minus the area of the white, white shape will be equal to the area of the, of the right triangle. Okay? Again, the area the area of the green right triangle The area of the green right triangle FBD will be equal to the area of the rectangle minus the area of the white shape. The area of the rectangle minus the area of the white shape equals to the area of the green right triangle. Okay, so I write it down. The area of triangle FBD, right triangle FBD, equals to the area of the rectangle minus the area of the white shape this white shape. Again, the area of the right green, of the right triangle, right green triangle, BFD or FBD equals to the area of the rectangle minus the area of the white shape. Okay? So, actually, this will be our first equation. The area of triangle, right triangle, EF. FBD, the green triangle, will be equal to the area of the rectangle that is 300 units squared, minus the area of the white shape that is given to us, is it equal to 240 units. 240 units. So 300 minus 240 units equals to 60 units squared. So the area of the right green triangle FBD equals to 60 
units squared. Okay, the area of the right green triangle FBD equals to 60 units squared because it is the area of the rectangle that is 300 units minus the area of the white shape that equals to 240 units. So 300 minus 240 is 60 units. So the area of the right green triangle equals to 60 units squared. Okay. Now I will copy the, I will draw again the right triangle, right green triangle FBD. Actually, side BF of the green right triangle will be equal to 20 minus X. Again, side BF will be equal to 20 minus X equals to BF. Okay, so I will write here that the side of FB or BF is the same, is 20 units minus X. Okay, so Actually, I drew again the right triangle FBD. We know that one side of this right triangle equals to 15 units. The other side FB equals to 20 units minus X. And uh, the hypotenuse of the right green triangle equals to y that we want to find out and we also know we have already calculated the area of this right triangle we know that the area equals to 60 units squared okay so now we will use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find out the value of x. Okay? Uh, first of all, first of all, uh, we can use a better way to do it uh, is actually to use the formula for the area of a triangle in order to find out the value of x and uh, as you have already know the formula for the area of a triangle is actually the base of the triangle times the height to the base
en vingt tours. So, the formula for the area of any triangle equals to the base of the triangle times the height to the base over 2. And we have already know that the area of this right triangle equals to 60 units squared. Okay, so the only variable that we will have to find out is the, the variable x. So actually, the area of triangle FBD, the right triangle FBD, will be equal to the base of the triangle, that is 20 minus x, times the height to the base. You should, you should remember that the height, the height must create 90 units, 90 degrees with the base. And this is a right triangle, and DB makes 90 units with the base PF. So it is the height. 15 is the height of this right triangle, so it is 20 minus x, the base, times the height, that is 15, over 2. Okay, so our second equation is that the, the area of the right triangle FBD will be equal to the base of the triangle, that is 20 minus x times the height to the base, that is 15 units, the height must create 90 degrees with the base, and this right triangle creates, or this uh, the side db creates 90 units with the base side fb, so the height of this right triangle is 15 over 2. Okay, but we have already know that the area of this triangle equals to 60 units. So I will write it down. 60 units squared. Okay, so the area of this triangle equals to 60 units squared. And it equals to 20 minus x times 15 over 2. Okay, so the area of this right triangle that equals to 60 units is 20 minus x times 15 over 2. We will multiply equation number 2 by 2. So we multiply equation number 2 by 2, we got that 2 times 60 is 120, equals to 20 minus x times 15. Now we will open the brackets in the second equation, equation number 2. So we open the brackets in, a, in equation number 2, 20 times 15 is uh, 300 and 15 times x is 15x, so in total we got that 120 equals to 300 minus 15x, we subtract 120 from equation number 2.
story subtracted 120 from equation number 2. 120 minus 120 is 0. And 300 minus 120 is 180. So in total we got that 0 equals to 180 minus 15x. Now we will add 15x to this equation, to the second equation. So we added 15x to this second equation. 0 plus 15x equals to 15x, 15x, and 180 minus 15x plus 15x equals to 180. We'll divide the equation number 2 by 15. We will divide the equation number 2 by 15. So we divided the question number 2 by 15. 180 over 15 is 20. So we got that x equals to 12 units. This is the first thing that we wanted to find out. And uh, the second thing is we wanted to find out the value of y. So x equals to 12 units. 20 minus 12 equals to 8. So we know that in this right triangle FBD, one side of this right triangle equals to 8 units, the other side equals to 15 units, and the only variable that is missing is the hypotenuse of this right triangle, that is actually Y. We will use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find out the hypotenuse of this right triangle. According to the Pythagorean theorem, the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars. That is to say, the square of the hypotenuse is y squared equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars equals to 15 squared plus 8 squared. Okay, so our further question states that the square of the hypotenuse, that is to say y square, equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars, equals to 15 square plus 8 square. 15 square is 64, and 15 square is 225, and 8 square is 64. So I write it down. So we got that y square equals to 225 plus 64, 225 plus 64 equals to 289, so I write it down. Okay, uh, y square equals to 289. Now we will take a root out of equation number 3. The root of 289 is 17. 
Okay, so actually we got that y equals to 17 units and we have already found out that x equals to 12 units. Okay, the root of 289 is 17, so the value of y is 17 units, and we have already found that the value of x is 12 units. So the answer to the question is that the value of x is 12 units, and the value of y is 17 units. Okay, now I'll summarize the lecture. Actually, we wanted to find out the values of x and y, and uh, we have the white shape, and we actually completed the white shape to a rectangle. So we lengthened the uh, the x we lengthened the line segment AF that is x to a size of 20 units and then we make a perpendicular to line segment AB in the size of 15 units. So we created rectangle ABCD. Okay, we created rectangle ABCD by lengthening the size of AF to the size of 20 units and then we make a perpendicular to side AB of the two line segment AB. So we got a rectangle and uh, we know that the width of this rectangle is 15 units and the length of this rectangle is 12 units. And we know that the area of any rectangle is the length of the rectangle times the width of the rectangle. So we can find out the area of this rectangle that we created. The area will be the length that is 20 units times the width of that is 15 units. So the area of the rectangle ABCD that we created is 15 units squared. And we know that the area of the white shape is 240 units squared. So the area of the rectangle minus the area of the white shape will be equal to the area of the green right triangle. We know that the area of the rectangle is 300 units and the area of this white shape is 240 units squared. The area of the rectangle is 300 units squared, and the area of this white shape is 240 units squared. So the area of the rectangle minus the area of the white shape will be equal to the area of the right uh, green triangle. Of 300 minus 240, that is 60 units squared, is the area of the right triangle. Okay, so, so the area of the right triangle is 60 units squared. I draw, I draw again the green right triangle. We know that one side of this right triangle is 15 units. The other side is actually 20 units minus x. E or FB equals to 20 units minus X. Okay, and we have found, 
they were already found that the area of the green triangle equals to 60 units. And we know that the green triangle is a right triangle because of the fact that all the angles in a rectangle equals to 90 units. For that reason, angle FBD is a right angle, it equals to 90 units. For that reason, triangle FBD is a right triangle. So the right, so the green triangle FBD is a right triangle. Okay, so we know that in this right triangle, side BD equals to 15 units, side BF equals to 20 units minus X, and the hypotenuse equals to Y. Because of the fact that we know that the area of this right triangle equals to 60 units, we can use the formula for the area in order to find out the value of x. Okay, so the formula for the area of any triangle is actually equals to the base of the triangle times the height to the base over 2. This is the formula for the area of any triangle. And the area of our green right triangle will be equal to the base of the triangle, that is 20 minus x times the height to the base. The height is 15 units. Actually, BD is the height to the base because of the fact that it creates 90 units. Side BC creates 90 units with the base FB. For that reason, FD is actually the height of this right triangle. Okay, so the height of this right triangle is 15 units. So it is 20 minus x, that is the base times 15, that is the height of this right triangle, over 2, will be equal to the area of this right uh, green triangle. But we have already found out that the area of this right triangle is the area of the rectangle minus the area of the white shape, that is to say 300 minus 240 units, that is 60 units squared. We know that the area of the right triangle equals to 60 units squared, so the area 20 minus x times 15 over 2 equals to 60 units squared. Okay, so we solved this simple equation. And we found out that x equals to 12 units. Okay, the value of x equals to 12 units. Okay, now we want to find out the value of y. Okay, the value of y, first of all we know that the value of x is 12 units, so 20 minus x is 20 minus 12 units, that is to say is 8 units. So the size of BF is 8 units, the size of BD is 15 units, and the only missing variable is the hypotenuse of this right triangle that equals to y. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find out the value of the hypotenuse. The uh, Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars. Okay, that is to say y square equals to 15 square plus 8 square. So we, we solve this uh, simple equation y square the uh, the square of the hypotenuse is y square equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars equals to 15 square plus 8 square. So we have only a one variable that is y. We got that y 
square equals to 289. So we found out that y equals to 70 units. And we have already found out that x equals to 12 units. So the answer to the question is that the value of x is 12 units and the value of y is 17 units. Okay, thank you very much.